Hello and welcome to this presentation of Mobile Manager. My name is Mark Walter, Solutions Engineer at Epicor Software. And in this short presentation, we'll be looking at the features, capabilities, and benefits of Mobile Manager and what information is provided to you in a live, real-time environment anywhere you have internet access anywhere in the world. So we'll talk about Mobile Manager, the categories you can access, in just a moment and what devices it can be installed on. So let's dive into the main screen on the right. These are the categories in Mobile Manager. As I mentioned, this is all real time on any phone or tablet that's either Android or Apple based. So if you have an iPhone, iPad, you download it from the App Store. Any Android device, you download the app from the Google Play Store. It is licensed then per device. Once licensed, you can enter your username and password and have it remembered so that as soon as you launch the application, you're presented with this main screen. There's no need to sign on once you've unlocked your phone or tablet. So this is all, as I said, real time, as long as you have an internet connection, whether you're at a trade show, you're just checking the store while you're away, or at home, you don't have to lug a laptop around log into Eagle, launch applications. This is just bring up your phone, tap on the app and access the various real-time information, which we'll drill down to in just a minute. So things as terms of sales history, not only live sales as of the last transaction, but all your historical data that you've been collecting in Eagle will be accessible under sales. So you're not starting over on day one when you use the app. Live information in your inventory, such as quantity on hand or cost or retail. Now you're not changing anything with Mobile Manager. We have another app for doing changes within inventory management. This is designed to be primarily one-way communication. There are a couple interactive pieces of it as well, but most of the information provided is just one-way information to you. Now think about alerts. We have alerts that come to Eagle Browser such as quantity on hand has gone zero, a special order came in, or if the backup did not succeed, we want to be proactive and take action as soon as these issues arise. And not having to be at a PC, let's look at those alerts. Or check stocking levels or a retail on an item, all easily managed right from the app. Think of your customers. Having access to the entire customer database their contact information, their line of credit. Now, again, you can't change their credit, but it is a live information to perhaps decide if you want to increase what they have or perhaps give them discounts and set up a pricing structure for them based on their sales history. So there's a lot of information we can pull from your customers live and even contact them if you're on your phone and dial them up from the number that's in customer maintenance. So a great way to stay in touch with your customer base, again, not having to be at a PC. So a look at the next slide is the categories that we can look at in the mobile manager, starting with sales down to customer. Then manager overrides, reports and security are more interactive. We'll talk about what those can do for you as well. But primarily the sales to customer categories are all informational only. So sales. So what are my sales by the day or even hour? Last transaction will be shown. Just give me my numbers. Now we're not giving you the actual details about the transaction. We're just telling you the dollar amounts as well as your history. And then you'll notice towards the bottom of the screen, we're doing this by company, but you could break it out by store, department, or even class for the different time frames. Now, when you go to look up an item, so inventory lookups are managed by the number typing in the SKU. You can look up by description, a keyword that might appear in the description, or even scan the barcode using the camera. Once the list is displayed of the item, you can tap on quantity on hand to the right, and it will give you an all store breakdown of quantity on hand across all stores. So that's the little right arrow on the item. 
But if you tap on the item itself, it will take you into the item details. So that's where starting with the left side, and I've broken this up into three screens because you scroll down on your phone or tablet to access the additional information for the item. So quantity on hand, what's on order, what's my retail, matrix pricing, cost, when did I last sell or receive the item? What's my order point? Who do I buy it from? So lots of information, including location codes. You'll notice at the bottom of the screen, there's sales in all stores. So all stores we just looked at, which will show you quantity on hand across all stores. Sales, though, will delve into the history. So this is very helpful if you're at a trade show or market or you're on the phone with a vendor and I don't have my eagle nearby. I want to see what did I sell month to date, last 30 days, year to date, last year last 12 months. It's a great way to make a buying decision based upon what you sold. And again, real-time information. As I mentioned before, your top 100 items is another thing that's tracked. That Every day, the most selling item is listed, followed by the next most selling. And you can break it down by week or month, just to give you an idea of what's moving in the here and now, as well as seasonal items, how well they're selling during a certain time of the year. Now there is also a price checker. So if a customer is standing with you and you don't want to display obviously your cost or your gross profit, this is a simplified version of the item lookup where we only give you retail, matrix pricing, what's on hand, there's even location codes, and that's primarily all that's displayed. So handy if you have somebody nearby you don't want to show your cost to, this is your simplified retail price checker mode. Now we talked earlier about your customers, being able to look up all their contact information, even phone them if you're on your phone with the app, looking at their jobs towards the bottom of the screen, the sales history, their line of credit or other contacts associated with their account. So it's a way to just do customer support if you need to contact anybody, you're not having again to go back to the computer or call the store you have a live listing of your database of your customers. Now we talked about alerts earlier. So those are again pushed to you based upon your alert profile. So whatever alerts you set up for yourself can be pushed to the phone. Manager overrides. So if a override has been set up on your system and it's required to you confirm something, you can do that from a PC or for, instead of from a PC, from your phone or tablet, this saves you the time of having to go to a PC. Maybe you're not even at the store. Reports. For those using Compass, you can access a list of Compass reports and send them to yourself via email on demand. So rather than scheduling a report in Compass, this allows you to take a saved report and just on demand run it and deliver the results in an email. So that's what it's designed to do. Only if you have Compass, otherwise reports is not going to be used. And then the last on the list was security. So if a clerk forgets their password, you can reset their password and then it'll ask them to change it when they log in the next time. So again, something you can do without having to go back to your PC if that indeed needs to happen. So that is a look at Mobile Manager. If you have any further questions or information about pricing, please contact your account manager and they can assist you with that information. Thank you for your time today.